Guys, this is gonna be a quick video. I just wanted to touch base with the channel. It's been a while since I vlogged. Uh, I've been working on getting my setup together. I switched to the EOS R. Lenses are very expensive for the EOS R system, but you can adapt EF lenses, uh, which I highly recommend if you got a lot of EF lenses. Uh, when I made the switch, that's what I had to do. I just got a hold to a Canon 35 millimeter RF lens which I highly recommend switching to the RF lenses. They're just very expensive. So you got to make sure you're charging the right thing when you make, make that switch to that system because they're very expensive. Um, I'm working on getting some more RF lenses, but until then, I'm going to rock out with the 35 and I got some more EF lenses that I'm adapting to the EOS R. But right now I'm on the EOS R 35 millimeter RF lens. Uh, I got this new Rode mic, so enjoying using that, just testing out the quality of that. One of the things a lot of people don't talk about with these EOS R cameras is that when you adapt EFS or any crop sensor lenses, you lose the ability to shoot in 59 frames per second. <laughs> you lose the ability to shoot in 59 frames per second when you use crop sensor lenses on this camera. So you can adapt full frame lenses and you still have all your frame rates. But when you use crop sensor lenses, like uh, my favorite is the 18 to 35 1.8 Sigma Art. No B-roll in 59 frames per second. It has to be a full frame lens for you to get all your frame rate capability. So I just wanted to share that for anybody thinking about switching to this camera. Guys, these RF lenses are very fast, very good quality. Even the cheapest one that I have, the 35 millimeter, is, is just superior glass. The autofocus is fast. Uh, the pictures are crispy. It's kind of hard to put it into words, but you definitely want to switch to RF lenses. I know they're expensive, but it's going to be worth it in the long run to make the switch to RF lenses. So guys, that's pretty much going to conclude this video. Uh, just really testing out the EOS R with the 35 millimeter RF. That's all it was. Uh, I like the setup. I'm still learning it. So y'all be patient with me. Really didn't have the time to do an unboxing or a review because like my main job is not YouTube. I mainly do music videos, uh, videography work. So sometimes I won't have time to do product reviews and unboxing and stuff like that because I don't really get paid for that kind of stuff. A lot of the people that you follow on YouTube probably get paid for doing those type of videos. I don't. So sometimes I have to put my projects ahead of that, you know, whatever music videos or events or whatever videos I get paid to do. So if you want to get an idea of like the quality of any of my gear, everything that I will be posting from here on out in the near future will be shot with the EOS R 35 millimeter RF, Sigma 18 to 35. 24 to 105 EF that I adapted to this camera. So y'all stay tuned, man.